In anniversary mode, you cannot go into the toy firing game area directly, so park a UAZ near it. Now press the drive and exit button to get inside. So here's our toy firing area. Let's try to get inside normally. As you can see, we're unable to go there. Now let's try it with a UAZ. Firstly, we'll press the drive button, and now we'll exit from the vehicle. Boom, we're inside the playing area. Now I'll ask my teammate to start the game. As you can see, the game starts and we're still in it. Hence, the myth is confirmed. If you're not, you would stay idle on the trampoline and won't jump in the air. Let's try this by climbing over here. We'll get knocked first and then go towards the trampoline. As you can see, we're clearly able to jump repeatedly. Hence, the myth is busted. You can blow a fuel can using a molly. Here's our fuel can. Now let's try throwing a molly towards it. As you can see, it clearly blows up. Hence, the myth is confirmed. In anniversary mode, sit on any launcher outside the play zone. Wait for your HP to get very low and then click the start button. You will get knocked in the air and will still be able to fly. So here's our launcher. We'll wait for our HP to get low. Now let's press the start button. As you can see, we get knocked in the air. Also, we're clearly able to fly to our preferred location, even though we're knocked. Hence, the myth is confirmed. When your teammate marks anything using the universal mark, take the crosshair towards the mark. Now your universal button will change to a respond button. So here's my teammate, who's marked a weapon. As soon as I take my crosshair towards the mark, it automatically changes to a respond button. And when you tap on it, it'll say, I'll take. Similarly, when a location is marked, it says, on my way. Hence, the myth is confirmed. When you climb on the AKM statue in anniversary mode, you'll start to float in the air. To try this, let's climb over this AKM statue. Now we'll move slightly towards the left. As you can see, we're clearly floating in the air. Let's see the same thing from a different perspective. Our teammate can clearly be seen standing in the air. Hence, the myth is confirmed. Take a closed UAZ and park it in a slant direction towards any wall. Now try jumping in the gap between the UAZ and the wall. You'll reach the top of the wall. Let's try it with a UAZ parked in a slant angle. Let's try jumping in the gap. As you can see, we were able to get directly into the window of the squad house. Let me show the same thing from an observer's perspective. We get a slight boost, which pushes us up. Hence, the myth is confirmed. The BRDM will sink in the water if it gets flipped, that is, upside down. Here's a BRDM. Let's try to jump off this BRDM from this hill. We were successfully able to flip the BRDM, but it still floats. Now let's try to drive it. As you can see, we're clearly able to drive it too. 
Hence, the myth is busted. When you peek towards your left, your body is more exposed compared to the right peak. Let's compare both the peaks. This is when an enemy peeks towards his right, and this is when an enemy peeks towards his left. As you can see, the body is more exposed during the left peak. Hence, the myth is confirmed. You cannot knock an enemy using a motorcycle. Here's our motorcycle. Let's take a ride and try to knock the enemy. As you can see, we clearly went through and he still didn't get knocked. Actually, when a motorcycle runs through, the enemy loses around 50 HP. So if the health of our enemy is full, they won't get knocked. Hence, the myth is confirmed. Here's a bonus myth. You get awesome content if you subscribe to Clash Universe. Hit this subscribe button if you believe the myth is confirmed. Let's keep a like aim of 100k. Hope you guys do it.